welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I eat in a weekend. So typically I do a what I eat in a day, but I wanted to do a weekend this time because the weekends are my favorite and I eat a lot of my favorite meals. If you watch me, you know that, okay, first of all, I'm not a professional. I'm just sharing with you everything that I eat. And also I am a firm believer in intuitive eating. So at the moment, I'm not really trying to lose weight. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. I just definitely need to tone up. My weight has definitely fluctuated a lot throughout the years. It's gone up and down and this is what works the best for me is just intuitive eating listening to my body listening to when and what it wants to eat not restricting myself not counting calories and also something else to keep in mind is that every day and every weekend is different some days i eat a little bit more some days i eat a little bit less but yeah i hope you guys enjoy make sure you grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it so another day of the same breakfast i know i make this a lot but i genuinely love oatmeal and it's so easy and it's very filling so i'm gonna do another bowl of oatmeal today i just like traditional quaker oats and then I'm gonna have some fruit on the side I have some strawberries here some green grapes and then I always do almond milk whenever I make oats I just like the creaminess that it adds to it versus just water and then this is something that I started incorporating basically every single day I've been drinking tea and this is homemade tea it's my mom's recipe it's just ginger cinnamon and apple so I have enough here for today for me and Hector because he's been drinking it as well but I am gonna make a fresh pot of this tomorrow and I'll show you guys exactly how to make it it's so easy it is very potent Potent. It's very potent actually. So I definitely recommend adding some honey or like agave maple syrup something just to sweeten it up a little bit But it's really good and I feel like for me it helps with bloating a lot digestion And p.s. I always do half a cup of oats And then I like to do one cup of milk and then about a little less than half a cup of water Don't forget a pinch of salt some cinnamon Okay, I like a lot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do like a drop of maple syrup. So breakfast is complete. I got the oats. I normally do chocolate chips, but I'm not really feeling them today. And I also have my fruit bowl, my tea, and then these are all of my daily morning vitamins. So I always take my ritual daily vitamins two a day, every single day. And then I've also been taking these flow and glow. Like basically these are just like capsules to help balance out your hormones. And I do feel like these have been helping. This is my second bottle. And last month I did get my period, but I feel like my symptoms leading up to my period were basically almost non-existent. Resistant, so I really like these and then I also like to take these green skin vitamin gummies and I also take two a day So it is lunchtime and I'm actually gonna make a green chef meal I want to do something quick and I have one of these meals here. That's gonna take about 30 minutes So it is perfect and I want to give a huge shout out to green chef for sponsoring this portion of today's what I eat in a day So green chef is a certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean delicious dinners each week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that will save you a lot of time both in the kitchen and just in general that way you don't have to spend hours at the grocery store there's truly options for every lifestyle including keto paleo vegan vegetarian fast and fit mediterranean and gluten-free so green chef offers 24 weekly meal choices which is great because you do have a lot of options so you can find new favorites while still keeping your curated meal plan and there's also a lot of flexibility with green chef so if you do want to swap out your preferences each week you do have that option as well so if one week you want to do vegan and next week you want to do gluten-free or vegetarian there's flexibility there to switch that up and like I said everything does come pre-portioned and pre-measured which is nice because then you avoid just excess food waste and all the ingredients are high quality and I just love how easy it is a lot of the meals that I like are also all under an hour so if you're ever busy and you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen or like you don't want to go to the grocery store and spend your whole day there it's nice to be able to have a green chef to also give you like new meal options and ideas as well because like for me I tend to keep a lot of our meals in rotation over and over again so it's nice to switch it up and try something different Different. And I love each of these recipe cards. This is what, like one of my favorite things about Green Chef is because it tells you the recipe, of course, the photo of it. It tells you the cook time, servings, calories, and then it also on the back shows you step-by-step -step ingredients with photos, which for me is a big deal because I'm a visual learner, but it shows you exactly how to make everything. So you guys can use my code JUICYJAZZ130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. And all you have to do is go to greenchef.com for more details. So thank you to Green Chef for working with me on this section of today's video now let's make some lunch so all of these meals look so good especially this orange miso tofu that looks delicious but I'm gonna do the blackened cauliflower bowl because the cook time is only 30 minutes and it looks really easy and that sounds so good right now first step preheat the oven to 425 and then we're gonna prep the jasmine rice vegetable stock concentrate water I love it. 
everything is prepped, pre-portioned. So let's start with the rice first. And this is my favorite rice too, jasmine rice. So I got the rice on here. It says it's gonna take about like 16 to 18 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna prep the veggies. So it says to cut the folly, folly flour, cauliflower into bite-sized pieces. And then we're gonna add some oil, some blackening spices, sea salt, pepper. So normally I would put like any of my veggies usually in the air fryer, but I'm just gonna follow the exact recipe and I'm just gonna put them on a baking sheet. up we're gonna prep all the veggies so the tomato the scallion it also says to zest a whole lime I don't have that microplane thing here or grater to zest that so I'm just gonna squeeze some lime onto the bowl and then we got celery yellow onion and then pecans Cauliflower smells so good, by the way, in the oven, but next step is to pat corn dry with paper towels, and then we're gonna add that to a pan to char. So I'm just gonna add the corn to a bowl, then I'm adding half a tomato, half of the scallions, So we are almost done. I just added the rest of the veggies with a little bit of olive oil to a pan just to saute. And then we can pretty much start plating everything. This was pretty easy. And with my lunch today, I'm gonna have one of my favorite juice combinations. I don't think I ever shared this with you guys. I originally saw this on TikTok and it is so good. So you just take pure pineapple juice, 100% cranberry juice, and a little bit of coconut water. You could do regular water as well. Stir it up and enjoy. It's delicious. You guys have to try this. Cheers. All right, I combined the rice with the veggies. So now I'm gonna plate everything. And I'm just gonna drizzle this over with the vegan paprika Dijon aioli. It also says to sprinkle a little bit of pecans, pecans, pecans over top. I'm gonna just do a couple. I never really add pecans or pecans. How do you guys say it? Pecans, pecans. And lunch is complete. Doesn't this look so good? I think I did a good job if I do say so myself. This looks delicious and it looks honestly identical to the picture. Let's do a taste test. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything, like some cauliflower, some salsa. Let's try to get even a pecan in there. Let's try it. Mmm. Okay, wait, the pecans are actually really good. It adds like a little like crunch and this sauce is delicious. I would definitely make this again. It's so good. So I'm gonna devour this. I don't wanna keep eating here in front of you guys, but I'll see you guys later on for dinner. So this is the tea recipe that I have been drinking for the past two weeks and I feel like it's made such a difference. It's really easy. All you need are some cinnamon sticks, some ginger and an apple of your choice. So with the cinnamon and ginger, I just put it into a plastic baggie and I just kind of crush it up using this thing that I have from my blender. And then I just put all of that into a pot and it should look something like this this and then you want to chop up your apple and add that to the pot as well and then you pretty much just add water and let this come to a boil i actually did six cups of water let that come to a boil for about 15 to like 18 minutes then you can just drain all of that goodness out i put it into a tupperware container and then from there i transfer it over into this mason jar and then i have tea for a few days all right, here is dinner. So I have three avocado rolls. I love this dinner, by the way. Sushi is one of those things that I could eat like honestly every day and not get sick of it. And it's Friday, so I got a spring roll and I was like, I'm definitely treating myself. And these are so good. There's like cabbage and carrots in them. Well, I'm afraid that moment is not going to last. <laughs> It's 
so I have a hair appointment this morning and I don't have time to make breakfast because this morning I chose sleep over food. So I'm just gonna make something when I get back. Like I'll make like lunch or brunch or something because my hair usually takes a few hours. But I'm just gonna have my tea in the meantime and then I'm just gonna take a granola bar and banana. And I love these made good chocolate chip granola bars. They're my favorite. And P.S. you can find these typically at Target. I've seen them. I've also seen them at Walmart. Hey guys, I am back from getting my hair done and now I'm pretty hungry. It's like one o'clock, so I'm gonna make some brunch. So for brunch today, I'm gonna do a tofu scramble with some sourdough and some breakfast sausage. I just have this leftover tofu here, and this is extra firm organic tofu. It's the same one that I always get. And then I'm gonna do two pieces of these maple flavored sausages. These taste so good. I get these at Walmart. And then this is my favorite sourdough bread, and this is from Aldi. It is the sourdough round, 10 out of 10. It's delicious. So very quick breakfast. I can normally get this done in like 10 minutes. So let's make it. And there we have brunch, AKA breakfast. And by the way, this is the perfect time if you're ever making, whether it's tofu scramble or like eggs or something, it's like the best time to add spinach just to get some extra greens in. But I ran out, so that's why I just added some cheese just to add a little something because tofu pretty much tastes like whatever you season it with and whatever else you add with it. So we are picking up dinner from one of our favorite places. If you guys are in the area, Greyhound Cafe. They have so many great vegan options and they have like a little bit of everything and their food is so good. Secured the goods. So this is like my favorite thing to get from Greyhound. I love their burgers. So I have an impossible burger here with some fries, cheese on the side. And then on my burger, I always add mayo, lettuce, tomato, onion, and it's delicious. And for dessert, these are my new favorite ice cream cones. And you cannot even tell that they're dairy free. So some days I don't really get super hungry in the morning. So I pretty much just fast until about like this time or like one o'clock. And today all I pretty much had was just some water, my tea, and then of course my vitamins. So I'm about to break the fast and go get a smoothie bowl. This is my favorite thing about eating at my dad's. Is a leftover so i am gonna have a little bit more rice and beans and then dessert if there is one thing that you guys try in this video let it be these so it's basically like ice cream but like it's also coated with dough on the outside and when you take them out of the freezer they do say to like let them thaw out for like 60 seconds yeah it says it right here so you chill in the freezer let it sit out for like a minute or two and it literally just melts into your mouth, you guys. It is so good. They have different flavors, but the chocolate is my favorite. And they also have like a non-vegan version as well, but I've seen these at Walmart before, Target. So I'm gonna have one of these. It's literally my favorite dessert. And I've been wanting the chocolate for so long, but it's been like sold out. So this is what they look like. It doesn't even look good, but I promise you guys, it is delicious. It's like a ball of dough, but then like there's ice cream inside. So when you bite into it, it like I said, just melts in your mouth so I'm gonna have one of these I look forward to these whenever I have them every night they are my favorite so that is everything that I ate this weekend let me know if you want me to do more videos like this I can also do like what I eat in a week because during the week I definitely cook a lot more than on the weekend also don't forget to check out Green Chef all the details will be in the description box and until next time I'll see you very soon in my next video bye